This video is created for the purpose of documenting our mini project for EE212 Analog Electronics 1. The circuit we've decided to design is of a voice amplification system. What is a voice amplification system you ask? A voice amplification system is like a public address system but on a smaller scale designed for smaller audiences such as students in a class. It is designed to be portable and lightweight enough the purpose of such systems in classrooms is to enhance the vocal reach of a tutor so that every student in the room can hear the teachings clearly and comprehend better. Many times as students we face the issue of the tutor speaking in a low volume or we can't hear him due to heavy rainfall or having noisy classes next door. Even students who sit at the back of large classrooms may face difficulty hearing the teachings due to the distance, which is why we've come up with this circuit. We had to use a signal generator instead of a microphone as there was no component available for use in Circuit Maker 2000. This portion of the circuit here is the microphone preamplifier. This circuit over here is the internal circuitry of the LM380 chip. The output of the preamp is fed through a 10K potentiometer which acts as the volume control of the system. Its output is then connected to pin 6 which is the inverting input of the LM380 chip. The system is powered by an 18V battery. Now if you simulate this circuit, you can see that red represents the microphone input blue represents the preamp output and green represents the output of the LM380 chip. If we look at the waveforms we can see that red is the microphone input signal. Blue is the output of the preamplifier and it's amplified and inverted. Green is the output of the LM80 chip and it's also amplified and inverted. This system is powered by an 18 volt battery, but you can also use two 9 volt batteries to make it more portable. This over here, it is the microphone preamp. It is based on a BC548 bipolar junction transistor. Its output is fed to a 10 k potentiometer with X as a volume control. From the potentiometer, this output is fed to the inverting input pin 6 of LM. 380 chip. Pins 3 to 5 and pins 10 to 12 are grounded. Pins 2, 9 and 13 are unused. The output of the op-amp is connected to the speaker via a capacitor for a clearer output. This is my voice without amplification. This is my voice with amplification. Here is a comparison of sound without the amplification system and sound with the amplification system. This is probably the most neat smartphone right now. It doesn't really change very much because for whatever reason, it supervises tend to just be completely leaked out prior to their launch. Most of the challenges faced in these projects were caused by COVID-19 restrictions. The university went online and it made it quite challenging for us to function as a group. As we do 
not live in the same cities. However, gradually we learned to collaborate online and we 